started at the end, not the start. The mighty Murray Way is a road that travels from Renmark to here at High Marsh Island. So uh, we've just travelled from Gulwa to High Marsh Island, it's only about uh, 10 or 11 k's. And there's a little lookout over here, which uh, fascinates me because it's the end of the Murray River after two and a half thousand odd kilometres from the snowy out into the Indian Ocean. So uh, yeah, quite a quite a landmark. Let's go check it out. Well, congratulations, my honey. What do you reckon? You made it to the uh, the mouth of the Murray River. Yep, it's pretty cool. It isn't too bad at all, eh? Man. They spend some six million dollars, is that a year? Yeah, to maintain the sand pumping here. Obviously they've got to try and keep this mouth open and that way um, yeah, it doesn't block up and stuff the rest of the river going up behind us here. So uh, pretty mean, mean feat. Is everybody? So considering the length this river travels, it's a tiny little mouth. So it pops out there, the sand dredging going on to keep it open. Fishermen over there enjoying some fishing. Looks like a good fishing spot with the amount of boats about. But that's it. We made it to the mouth of the Murray River. Sweet as. We're off to the next spot. We've stopped off in Strathbillan, a neat little town. Um, I wanted to see this sculpture. It reminds me of the ones in Cleve, done with all the machinery parts and things. This is a tribute that's been made for Ken Blake. He grew up in this town, um, riding his bike, and uh, later on moved to Melbourne. He ended up winning some 11 uh, national and international um, championships in his bike riding uh, history there. Um, one of the last things he wanted to do was ride the Isle of Man, which is a, a pretty wicked, wicked race. You want to look it up. But um, sadly, he aquaplaned the bike and it went into a wall and he lost his life back in 1981. So this is a tribute to him. Um, they've also, I've been trying to find it. There's apparently a, a um, Cooper's um, beer bottle cap in this statue somewhere and I can't find it, so please give me a comment down below if you know where it is. Um, but it's, uh, I think Cooper's is um, a South Australian beer maybe, don't quote me, and because he was in Melbourne, I mean, just basically bringing him back to the town, so yeah, nice bit of work. Um, Strathbourne, nice quiet town here. It was also used um, in the filming of Picnic at Hanging Rock. I just thought I'd bring that up because uh, back in the uh, the, uh, the wine country there we were at, um, we saw that building that was filmed in the picnic of Hanging Rock too, but I don't know what part it was used in. Anyway, we'll move on. Good morning. It's a beautiful morning here in Murray Bridge. Arrived here yesterday, stayed out at the showgrounds. Really nice spot out there, $20 power and water. Um, behind me, you'll see a, re a roundhouse. It was built back in 1876. And it was the uh, the boss, the superintendent of works. Uh, his name was uh, Henry Parker. Now, the boss was overlooking the workers. Actually, before I go there, they also had lots of other um, uh, purposes, it was the council chambers, a school, 
a post office and I believe a church. Now it's a bit of a, a museum, a heritage museum. Um, right back to, it was overlooking, well, the superintendent of works was overlooking this bridge. Now that bridge was built in um, 1879 and it's the first bridge to span the Murray River. So uh, yeah, the lovely little structure. There's another one um, further up, sorry for the sun. It's a railway bridge. I noticed two uh, on the railway bridge, I think around about 19, I can't quite see it from here, was it 56 or 1960, no, 1956 I think. Flood level was about the, the levels to the, the, the iron girders that you see going across and between the supports. Um, interesting things around the town, it's definitely known for um, a bit of food processing, uh, it's got light manufacturing and it has one of Australia's largest dairy factories I believe. So we're going to go walk about, go and find another one or two items before we head further um, over towards the east. Continuing our little adventure along the Murray, there she still is, and the road bridge on the other side there. Just down the a little way is this little feature. This little feature is the bunyip. I don't really know the true fact of the bunyip, but. Uh, this story goes, I'm sorry I can't demonstrate because he's broken, he's out of order, but uh, she's got some photos of what the bunyip looks like. So what happened was that there was a uh, pretty well-to-do sort of bloke fishing down here by the river and um, yeah, he was kind of like taking too many fish, a bit of greed going on, he was catching more than what he needed. Anyway, the I think the a powerful elder, Aboriginal elder sort of came down and said, oi mate, you're, uh, go easy, you've got a bit too many fish there, and he sort of said, no, bugger off. Anyway, this powerful elder put a spell on him, turned him into a bunya, or what I think the other name for it is a, a mala wonk. wonk. <laughs> so it's um, half man, half creature, no, half fish, half creature or something like that, half man, half fish. So yeah, he's a bit of a scary little character. Anyway, um, the legend goes quite well now, it's just basically telling people, hey, just take enough for what you need, don't be too greedy, and um, it's also a bit of a lesson for kids, the mollywok is out there, and uh, don't swim alone, always swim um, with others for safety. So I think it's a good safety message, Joe. Eh? There it is, the bunyip. Just outside the bunyip, I don't know whether it's going to show in amongst the, uh, the sun down there, but you can see this boat here and there's a, a couple out on some deck chairs enjoying the beautiful scenery from the Murray River here. But I'm not too sure, but further down there on the left hand side, it's my first experience of it. Um, it's kind of, it kind of looks like a, not a caravan park, it looks like more like a, a boat van park. <laughs> so the Murray River is very, very um, uh, popular for river sort of float tours um, or just discovering the river, parking up. So yeah, nice little spot. <laughs> 